yeah. <laughs> you know, just thinking about Israel and the various political problems that they're having over there. <laughs> you know, I had once mentioned that I would uh, bankrupt that nation. Poop. <laughs> Why is it that you're having elections early instead of just, um, well, let's call Israel and find out what political problems they're having because I thought there were some Jews that really didn't like me and <laughs> the United States Constitution does not give anyone the right to a lawyer or the right to counsel <clears throat> or the right to any other hearsay substitute the Sixth Amendment. Yeah is very specific that the accused only has the right to the assistance of counsel. Mm -hmm. And this assistance of counsel can be anyone the accused chooses without limitations. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if that's right or not. Um, to be appointed counsel? Well, let's see, as an indigent, and you appointed counsel to me, right. And Jack Range is my attorney. We're going to a cell hearing in six days. Yes, and you admit it as Exhibit A, right, number 33. Po, po, po. Mm -hmm. This is or is not the actual initials of the ex-official uh, county clerk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm named as the restrained, right, is restrained. Uh-huh. But I didn't get any notice or actual service, right. The court never had any jurisdiction over the parties, the minors, and the subject matter. Mm -hmm. And then there was this modification that took place that I was prohibited from knowingly coming within or knowingly remaining within 1,000 feet, yes, of the petitioner's residence, mm -hmm. workplace, school, the daycare of the minors named in the table on page one, yeah. But the petitioner didn't sign this. Ouch. Uh, and the respondent is restrained from going within 300 feet of the First Baptist Church. Uh -huh. Could you tell me who wrote this when the petitioner did not acknowledge receipt of the protection order? Yes. Now, this concept of assistance of counsel. Okay. Maybe I could ask anybody to assist me as counsel. I, I don't know if it's true or not. But let's say that you decided that... I could not go to the Boys and Girls Club, right, or within 300 feet of the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. Now, this was written after you did the modification uh, because of the letter from Greg Miller. Yeah. The pastor of uh, the Squim Baptist Church, right, or the First Baptist Church of Squim. Yeah. This was the church that my sons went to while they were two years behind their, mm -hmm, their peers in school. Now, um, just so that I understand, because we're going to look at it, oh, mm -hmm. I understand that the Baptists, uh, they didn't want me going to the same church as my sons, and they thought, well, he's going to violate the protection order. And <laughs> I just, well, I mentioned that I was going to sue them, and you're obstructing me from doing that. Ooh. <laughs> now, um, this is the bench copy, right? Motion for order appointing translator at public expense. Yes. Uh -huh. They put that on every one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. State of Washington is the plaintiff versus Paul Budnick, not Paul Chad Budnick. Right. Somehow you missed my middle name there. Oh, defendant. Yes. Motion to dismiss count number two, uh, violating the no contact order domestic violence. Yeah. For lack of the protection order's applicability to the crime charged. Yes. Now comes now the defendant, Paul Chad Budnick, not Paul Budnick, by and through the undersigned counsel, uh -huh, moves the court for an order dismissing count two of the violating of the no contact order domestic violence. Yep. Because the underlying order is not applicable. Oh, mm -hmm. But I had knowledge of it. Yes. But the petitioner didn't sign it. That's right. <laughs> but I wasn't given any due process. Yes. And the evidence has some sort of top secret family way of communicating. Poop, poop. Now, uh, respectively submitted, third day of July 2018, Jack W. Range, uh, Washington State Bar Association, number 49611. Yeah. Now, as I understand the explanation of the Bar Association, uh, the state of Washington cannot uh, punish or disbar those that are um, practicing attorneys in the state. Yes. 
The bar is the only authority that can punish or disbar a lawyer, not the state. Oh. Mm -hmm. Could you just get me each and every uh, lawyer in each state of the United States since they started bar associations? Yes. I'm not saying this information isn't correct. I got this off the, the internet. Yeah. But I just want to fact check it because you would have thought after emailing so many right now that Jack would have been disbarred a long time ago. Poe. Now, for every lawyer uh -huh, that belongs to each and every state bar association, yeah, you belong to those bar associations, but the bar associations of the individual states do not have the actual authority of law to disbar you. Uh, I don't think everybody belongs to the, B the ABA. Yeah, It could be that some of this information isn't correct. Yes, not to say that I disagree. I'm just saying that if you don't belong to the ABA, then who would disbar you? You would think the state bar would. Well, let's look at all the individuals that have been censored. Yes. Disbarred. Yes. Or had their licenses jerked from them because the state said that it was a violation of the unalienable rights right now. Pow. Now, I know how corrupt you are. This little microphone that I keep mentioning. Yes. You had to listen in as I was making the videos. <laughs> I thought we should just see how many individuals would like to have a, a web address. Just pick any old web address, text it out to every truck driver in the United States. There's approximately 6.6 .6 million truck drivers <laughs> driving down the road having no nothing to do but listen to the radio poach. Now, um, could be quite right, okay. Maybe I did have the right to assistance of counsel, but nobody asked me, did you want an attorney appointed to you? Because when I got arrested for the failure to appear for the court hearing on August 21st of 2017, yeah, I had actually emailed law enforcement wanting to know what it was about on August 9th and August 10th of 2017. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, we're not going to serve him actual summons to have to appear in court. We're going to wait until we arrest him. Now, I think that separates me from some of these unalienable rights that you can't be separated from. Yeah. Now, in Meyer versus Nebraska, mm -hmm. the term liberty yeah, denotes not merely freedom from bodily restraint, but also the right of the individual to contract. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To engage in any of the common occupations of life, to acquire useful knowledge, to marry, uh -huh. to establish a home and bring up children, to worship God according to the dictates of his own conscience. Mm -hmm. The established doctrine is that uh, his liberty may not be interfered with under the guise of protecting public interest by legislative action. Yeah. Now, we talked about the community caretaker role of those in law enforcement. Yes. There seems to be this guise of protecting the public interest when you obligate me to go to court. Yes. When you won't serve me an actual notice of a court hearing, you arrest me mm -hmm. for failing to appear at a two-count criminal complaint court hearing Yeah, where there was no personal service. Mm -hmm. There was no summons. Poach. There was no nature and cause against me because there was no written, signed, uh, citizen complaint that had been signed in the presence of a judge or magistrate. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, this acquiring of useful knowledge to marry, to establish a home and bring up children. You know, I had mentioned that I'm still married. Poop. I gave you copies of the United Nations marriage certificate. Yes. I had documented that I did not get actual notice of the dissolution of marriage court hearings. Yes. In fact, I had documented that when you don't protect my right to due process, I cannot marry without committing a crime. Now, for three years and a few months, approximately 2,260,000 emails, you as judges have said, well, we are going to violate his unalienable right to marriage. Poop. You're not going to obligate my wife to get rid of my last name. Pooh. Now, this is the criminal complaint that was served on me at the time that I was video arraigned. Yes. This was the address that you kept sending uh, information to. Yes. 
1023 Kitchen Dick Road, Square, Washington. Mm -hmm. This was filed with Jefferson County on August 8th of 2017. Yes. And uh, I've never seen any evidence that I committed any crime. Mm -hmm. Now, finding out in the last four days that my sons are going to graduate after they're 19 years old. Yes. I just sent you an email about child exploitation. Poop. But you had to be total dickhead, so we'll just go through it again. Yes, that the defendant in Jefferson County, Washington, on June 16th of 2017 mm -hmm. or earlier did with intent to harass, intimidate, torment, or embarrass any other person. Yeah. Now, uh, that happened to be her 47th birthday. Yes, I did not email the Brennan School District. Right. Didn't email the Quilson School District. Pooch. In fact, I gave you pretty close to a copy of all the emails that I sent on June 16th of 2017 and all 2,000 email addresses. Pooch. Did you actually look at exactly what the fuck you're doing? Now, um, I'm going to a cell hearing for this count one of cyber stalking when I was informing you that my sons have been kidnapped. Yes. And uh, you decided that you'd make up some bullshit about me cyberstalking. Oh. When I have the right as a father mm -hmm, to communicate with law enforcement any time I have knowledge of a crime. Yeah. Now, I haven't called you because you're... Well, you lie. Mm -hmm. Sheriff, you lie. Yes. See, your whole thought was, we'll get an attorney, motion the court, and we'll handle it in the county so that nobody in the world will find out about this. <laughs> My thought is, if we make this the largest radio show in the history of this great nation, I'm going to make sure that every American citizen that gets a text message that has a web page that they can go to... Yes. They can listen to that, and then they can uh, get all the actual documentation. Yes. Now, if you go to Facebook, okay, spell my last name, Budnick, B-U-D-N-E-K. I have put all the documentation and links to all the drives on my Facebook profiles. Yes. Then if you go to YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E dot C-O-M. Yes. You can get numerous videos that explains exactly what I'm talking about. Pooch. Now, in this Meyer versus Nebraska, oh, this term liberty denotes not merely the freedom from bodily restraint, but also the right of the individual to contract, yes, to engage in any of the common occupations of life, yes, to acquire useful knowledge, mm -hmm. to marry, yes, to establish a home, bring up children. <laughs>